Good morning, everybody. So, today is a very special day. Although I am a little annoyed right now because I will forgot his name tag. And he went to work at 7.30 in the morning. And right now it's like almost 9 o'clock. And he forgot his name tag. So he's making me come and bring it to him. But it's Bo's birthday! Yay! Bo is one today! No biting. No biting, I know. It's so exciting! Yay! My little baby's one! Now I have... Two adults, technically, in the do dog world, I guess. But it's one year old today, my little handsome baby. I remember when we got you, you were so little. Now he's, like, turning gray, too. Is that what happens when Yorkies get older? They turn gray? Like, I've seen gray Yorkies. Hey, so ow. I know, it's so exciting. But... So, I think I'm going to take the dogs with me on a car ride. Whoopsie. But I'm going to give him a little breakfast treat if I can find it. Uh, actually, I'll do it after because he actually does get sick in the car sometimes. So, I'm going to go on a field trip. And I'm going to take so his name tag. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to get ready for the gym. And, oops, sorry, it's all offsided, but I'm trying to, like, hurry up. So, I was like, I need my name tag. Ah. Well, if you needed it, babe, you should have taken it to work or left one in your locker. It's your responsibility. Just kidding. I love you. Sorry for being a butthead. There you go. I'll never leave it again. Huh? Keep it in your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, love you. Well, I'm gonna get Bo his little birthday breakfast, um, or just a little treat. Not really breakfast, but just something cute. Look at how cute these things are. They're so cute. So I'm gonna give him one of these because I don't know how he'll react to two. So we're just gonna give him one. If I can open it. And then I'm going to make breakfast for me. Okay. This is for Bo. This is Bo's birthday treat. No, not for Duchess. Come here, Bo. Here. There you go. Duchess, no. Just know, that just know. Not for you, Sobby. Sobby, I have something for you though. Can take it. Here. You want me to drop it on the ground? Oh, so you couldn't grab it out of my hand. I then I see how it is. So I am on my way to the gym. I'm actually almost there, but I'm really pushing myself this month to make sure I go Monday through Saturday and have Sunday as my rest day because Sawa and I are going on vacation. We're going to Hawaii in July. So I would like to have like a nicer body. Um, for when we go like I want to be able to be comfortable in my bathing suit and not have to like hide myself the entire time so I'm like really pushing myself like to make sure I do get in there and get what I'm I need to get done done like I'm trying to find the motivation for it and all that stuff so we'll see I'm like this is my fourth day in a row going to the gym and I'm honestly really proud of myself and I've do I've been doing a lot better on my eating. Like yesterday I had two cookies. Not gonna lie. They were like super good. I mean they're not the worst cookies in the world, but I mean cookies are cookies and cookies aren't like healthy. 
but I've cut back on red meat, like almost totally completely eliminated it from my diet. We never really eat a lot of red meat anyway. Um, cut back a lot on dairy and I'm not having like soy or anything. Um, not necessarily a vegan diet, just a gluten and dairy free diet um, because with polystic ovarian syndrome, which is what I have, uh, my, well I went to, a, okay, let me back it up. So I went to a nutritionist a few years ago, like two years ago I think, um, but I didn't take it seriously then and I recently found the paperwork that she gave me and it was telling me things to avoid um, eating and things I should be eating so I've taken that a lot more seriously re recently and so I'm working on that. It's said to avoid um, uh, soy, milk, um, like potatoes, like really starchy products, um, any trans fat and saturated fat, anything like that. So I have, Sawa and I have been really good on eliminating trans fat. We, we're reading our labels, we're seeing what's hydrogenated, what's not hydrogenated, what has this and what has that. So we've been doing really, really good on that and now it's just me getting into the gym because honestly, people think that going to the gym is the hardest part and it is if you lack motivation, but honestly, the hardest part of this all is eating. I love burritos. I love like all my Mexican food and <laughs> like I love cheese. I love froyo and it's, it's hard. It's way harder than anyone thinks it is. So... We're working on it. I've been doing really good. Saul told me, I think two days ago, that he was really proud of me and my eating. And I'm really proud of me. The only thing that I need to work on is incorporating more vegetables because I love fruit. I'm not a big vegetable person. I'll eat my, I love cucumbers though. Love cucumbers, can't get enough of cucumbers. But some of the vegetables that were recommended are like kale. So I've been incorporating kale into my smoothies in the morning. Um, and just small things like that, small little steps. But now I need to like have carrots for a snack like after my workout and all that fun stuff. So I just pulled up to the gym. I'm gonna go do my cardio day that Vinny has me doing. And then I'll see you guys after. Ugh. So I just got done at the gym. Um, I didn't do as long as I wanted to. Um, which sucks, but I did do like the exercises I, I'm supposed to do prior to it, so, prior to like just straight up cardio. But sometimes when I do cardio, it's the weirdest thing. I get um, a chest pain on my left side and I have been to the doctor for it and they've done an EKG, they've done like all kinds of testing on it and they haven't found anything wrong with it. They honestly don't even know what's wrong with it. I've been to a cardiologist and everything and they're like, you're too young to even have heart problems and you like, you seem fine. Like all your blood works come back fine. Like it, not, it just doesn't make sense. And it only really happens when I am like doing cardio. And it sucks because it like it hurts so bad that it limits what I can do and I'm like so frustrated because I'm I'm really trying to work hard to get my body back to what I was but a healthier version of that um, so like you know it's just really frustrating Saul and I are back from eating lunch and uh, I'm so tired, my legs are so sore. I think it's from the elliptical trainer that I use. It makes my legs really, really tired. Uh, and I feel really gross, so I'm gonna get in the shower. And then I'm gonna film a tutorial. And I think I'm just gonna film a hair tutorial because I like the way my short hair comes out sometimes. I thought you were studying. Oh, it's always being a poopy head. He doesn't feel too good. I think you feel better now, don't you? Huh? Yeah? So-so? Kind of? Oh, so Saul is studying to become a senior fitness expert, meaning working with the elderly. So he's over here studying in bed. 
you know cute. He's got his little highlighter over here. He's pretending to sleep. A wild soul in his natural habitat. <laughs> oh, he's going into hibernation. I just finished filming a hair tutorial um, with like three different hairstyles. And my hair is a little bit crazy because I think I brushed it out too much after I finished filming. But oh. and I burned my shoulder, babe. No, 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 Duchess, go home. Duchess, go home. Hey, you're such a bad. Get out my Lumi case. It's bomb.com. Like, look at that lighting already. Bomb highlight on fleek. Oh, okay. What the heck? Anyway, like I was saying, we're gonna go to the store, go get some. Uh, why am I now? Go get some uh, hamburger stuff and cook it up. What are you looking for? Your car. And they're in my purse. No wallet? I don't know where that one is. Might be upstairs. Oh, you drive now? Yeah, I'll drive. We just sat down for dinner. So, and I made some burgers. Technically, I'm not supposed to eat the bread, but he's over there being a jerk because I cooked the turkey meat. And he's making sure it's not pink. And it's really annoying and it's really hurting my feelings because I work so hard. But these are pretty good. The only thing is mine is missing is cheese. The only thing missing is potatoes. You could have made him. We took the long, that's what you said. It took four to five minutes. You can't make them at all. We could have bought store bought ones. Mm. Like the O'Reilly of French fries? Mmm. Yum! Yeah. I don't have anything. Actually, frozen food is probably what we should not be eating. But he wanted to go out to eat, and I was like, no, homie, let's make some burgers. That was our original plan. Well, turkey burgers. Because we're trying to cut back on red meat. So I was like, no, we're going to go to the store, and we're going to oh, go pick yeah, up no, the stuff. Right. So we only made, like, two burgers. <laughs> <laughs> One of our friends is at work. Another one's in Arizona. I don't know what Charlie's doing, and I don't know what Brooke's doing. Mm -hmm. Either working or sick or who knows. But it's nice to have our alone time. Huh, babe? Oh, but I need a picture of you with it. Duchess can't eat it. So I had to split up the pie for both of them, and they, they both think they're in trouble. Oh, I just stepped and peed. So I scared Bo, so Bo peed. But see, look, he takes it, and then he hides. Look, he's going to go hide outside. He thinks he's, he can't have it, but he can. And Duchess is eating it. I can't believe my little baby's one. <laughs> so cute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is going to do it for today's vlog. If you like our videos and you like our channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. And also don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.